one of the foods we have in excessive quantities is pigeon breasts and uh, David is uh, stripping them from the birds at the moment and shortly I'll be using those breasts to make pigeon burgers. After we finish taking the breasts off the pigeons we put them through the mincing machine and minced the whole lot of them up and we've got 500 grams there. And what we're going to do is make burgers with them. Now they're going to taste very gamey so I'm going to show you some of the ingredients that we add in to sort of take the edge off the gamey taste. But whenever you make burgers you need to add in breadcrumbs and that helps retain the moisture when they're being cooked. So we've got 100 grams to add to the 500 grams, 100, 100 grams of breadcrumbs to add to the 500 grams of minced pigeon breast. Now um, here are some of the other interesting ingredients to add in. This is bitter, it's homemade. We made a big barrel of bitter earlier this year and we're desperate to use this stuff up. So we're looking for all sorts of ways to use it. So that's going in as well, a, effectively a, an amount to taste. And we just picked up some apples from a friend's uh, uh, allotment yesterday. So we're gonna add in a couple of these peeled and cored and then grated as well. And likewise, a medium sized onion peeled and grated as well. Now, this is fruit puree. It's from a, a, a byproduct of ours when we make hedgerow jelly, and it's got about six or seven different hedgerow fruits, such as rose hips, hawberries, blackberries, and so on, have gone into it. And we make a jelly from that, and the pulp that's left over, we put through a sieve, and we get a fruit puree from it. So we're going to put in two or three tablespoons of that, and to give it a sort of slightly sweet edge, this is actually some of the hedgerow jelly that we made that uh, resulted in that pulp as well. And uh, we're going to add in about um, two thirds of that jar as well, again depending on taste. So let's give it a sort of slightly sweet edge as well. But as you can see, it um, didn't really set very well, so we'll be looking for all sorts of ways to use that up. And finally, in terms of the ingredients, just a spot of salt and ground black pepper. So all of that now goes into a mixing bowl. And then give this all a good stir. There it is, all mixed up. Now I reckon that this is a little bit too moist. So I'm going to add in a few more breadcrumbs to absorb some of that moisture. And then I'm going to make a, a couple of mini burgers. And we're going to test them out to make sure that the ingredients are all nicely balanced together. The interesting thing about the ingredients for these burgers is that most of the, the ingredients are from waste. Uh, the pigeons, for example, are um, shot because they are a pest. The breadcrumbs are made from leftover dried bread. The fruit puree that went into it was a, made from the waste of a jam making process. Uh, the sweet jelly that went in was one that hadn't worked and we were looking for a, a new use for it. Uh, so uh, it's a good way of actually using up uh, lots of uh, waste that would otherwise be thrown out. Anyway, here are my two mini burgers. This is the moment of truth time. So, here goes. Yeah, they're not bad. It takes a, takes a moment for the, um, the taste to actually hit you. It, uh, yeah. Hmm. I think I need a barbecue.